a very good morning to one and all uh, today is a sunday and sundays always we bring a webinar that gives you a lot of knowledge and information normally at this time on a sunday we do a town hall and when we do the town hall our state chief commissioner comes out and he announces a array number of programs that can keep you engaged and fight this lockdown and the deadly pandemic but today for a change at 11 am we have the dialogue cafe with uh, dr kadir and um, he is going to talk to us about millets siri dhanya and we are going to celebrate the world environment day on the june 5th and when we celebrate this world environment day on june 5th the theme for the world environment day is restore the ecosystem otherwise it is known as restore the earth when we talk about restore the ecosystem it is about restoring each and every habit of a human being and food habits also count into it we all have moved into the current trends of the food and we have forgot what the traditional foods are how the uh, foods which we call as the millets that can be part of our daily life and make us healthy strong and also fight various uh, diseases including the present pandemic of covid-19 to talk all about these important aspects about millets and siridhanya we have a well renowned food scientist with us and he is none other than dr kadir to introduce our resource speaker and to give the welcome remarks i call upon our state chief commissioner shri pgr singh sir to the screen he is now going to introduce our resource speaker and give the welcome remarks ellarigu scout namaskarangalu tammellarigu mattomme nanu ee apurupada webinar ge swagatavannu maartene ivattana mukhya ವಿಷಯವನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸ್ತಕ್ಕಂತ ಭಾಷಣಕಾರರು ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಖಾದರ್ ವಾಲಿಯವರು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಖಾದರ್ ಅವರು ವಿಶ್ವವಿಖ್ಯಾತ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಿಗಳು ನನಗೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಖಾದರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಇದೆ ಅವರು ಸಾವಿರದ ಒಂಬೈನೂರ ಐವತ್ತೆಂಟನೇ ಇಸುವಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಆಂಧ್ರ ಪ್ರದೇಶದ ಕಡಪ ಜಿಲ್ಲೆಯ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಹಳ್ಳಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಹುಟ್ಟಿ ಮೈಸೂರಿಗೆ ಬಂದು ಮೈಸೂರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರ ಪದವಿಯನ್ನ ಮತ್ತು ಉನ್ನತ ಪದವಿಯನ್ನ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ನಮ್ಮ ರೀಜನಲ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಸರ್ಕಾರದ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಗಳಿಸಿ ಅದಾದ ನಂತರ ಅವರು ವಿಶ್ವವಿಖ್ಯಾತ ನಮ್ಮ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಂಶೋಧನಾ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸರ್ ಸಿ ವಿ ರಾಮನ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡದಂತ ಜಾಗ ಸಿ ಎನ್ ಆರ್ ಅವರು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತ ಜಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪದವಿಯ ನಂತರ ಡಾಕ್ಟರೇಟ್ ಪದವಿಯನ್ನ ಗಳಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರೇಟ್ ಪದವಿಯನ್ನು ಗಳಿಸಿ ಅದಾದ ನಂತರ ಅವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಿ ಎಫ್ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಐ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವು ದಿನಗಳ ಕಾಲ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಿಗಳಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅದಾದ ನಂತರ ಅವರು ಅಮೇರಿಕಾಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಅಮೇರಿಕ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಐದತ್ತು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಕಾಲ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ವಿಶ್ವ ಮಟ್ಟದ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಿಗಳ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಅವರು ತಮ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನವನ್ನ ಬೆಳೆಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅವ್ರಿಗೇನು ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ನಾನು ಅಮೇರಿಕಾದ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇವೆ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ನನ್ನ ನನ್ನ ತಿಳಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಬಯಸ್ಬೇಕು ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಬಯಸಿ ವಾಪಸ್ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಸಹಕಾರ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥವ್ರು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಉಷಾರ್ ಅವರು ಉಷಾರ್ ಅವರು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಖಾದರ್ ಅವ್ರ ಜೊತೆನಲ್ಲಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಇವರು ದಾಂಪತ್ಯ ಜೀವನಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರವೇಶ ಮಾಡಿ 
ಬಹಳ ಸರಳವಾಗಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಖಾದರ್ ಅವರು ಮಾತನಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂತ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ನನ್ನ ಯಶಸ್ಸಿಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಧರ್ಮ ಪತ್ನಿ ಹುಷಾರ್ ಅವರು ಕಾರಣ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಮಾತನ್ನ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದನ್ನು ಕೇಳಿ ಅವರ ಸರಳತೆ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನನಗೆ ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ತು ಬಹುಶಃ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬ ಭಾರತೀಯನು ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಪಡತಕ್ಕಂತ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿತ್ವ ಉಳ್ಳವರು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಖಾದರ್ ಅವರು ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಪರೂಪದ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಿಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಒಬ್ಬರಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥವ್ರು ಅವರು ಅಮೆರಿಕದಿಂದ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ದೇಶದ ಆಹಾರದ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ನಮ್ಮ ಆಹಾರದ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪುರಾತನ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿತ್ತು ಆ ರೀತಿ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಈಗ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಸರಿಯಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನನಗೂ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯ ಆಯ್ತು ಐದು ಸಾವಿರ ಹಳ್ಳಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಭೇಟಿಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ವಿಲೇಜಸ್ ಈ ವಿಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಸಾವಿರಕ್ಕೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಜನಗಳ ಜೊತೆನಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಚರ್ಚೆಯನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅದಾದ ನಂತರ ತಮ್ಮ ಇಡೀ ಜೀವನವನ್ನ ಈ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಮಿಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯದ ಒಂದು ಸಮೃದ್ಧಿ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳನ್ನ ಆಹಾರವನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಜನ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಆಹಾರ ಪದ್ಧತಿಯನ್ನು ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕಳೆದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಸತತ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನವನ್ನ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥವ್ರು ನಿನ್ನೆ ನಾನು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅಮಂತ್ರಣವನ್ನ ಔಪಚಾರಿಕವಾಗಿ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಮಾತನಾಡಿದಾಗ ನಾನು ನಿರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಮಾಡಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಬಹಳ ಸರಳತೆಯಿಂದ ಬಹಳ ವಿನಯತೆಯಿಂದ ಯಾವಾಗೂ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ತುಂಬುದು ಕೊಳಕೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಮನೆಯ ಕಲರ್ ಅವರು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಯಾರು ಹೋಗ್ಬಾರ್ದು ಅದರ ಹತ್ರನು ಯಾವ ಕಾಯಿಲೆ ಸಹಿತ ಯಾರು ಸಹಿತ ಬರಬಾರದು ಮತ್ತೆ ಯಾವ ಕಾಯಿಲೆನು ಸಹಿತ ಪ್ರಪಂಚದಲ್ಲಿ ಔಷಧಿ ಇದೆ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕಾಯಿಲೆ ಯಾವುದೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಔಷಧಿ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋದ್ರ ಬದಲಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಆಹಾರ ಪದ್ಧತಿಯನ್ನ ನಾವು ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಜನಗೆ ಒಳ್ಳೇದಾಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋ ತೌಕ ನನ್ನಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಯಾರೂ ಸಹಿತ ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಬರಬಾರ್ದು ಗ್ರಾಮೀಣ ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿ ಮತ್ತು ಸ್ವಾವಲಂಬನೆ ಇದು ನನ್ನ ಜೀವನದ ಉದ್ದೇಶ ಎಂಪವರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರೂರಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಗೋಲ್ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಮಾತನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ನಾನು ಅವ್ರ ಮುಂದೆ ಬಹಳ ಸಣ್ಣವನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನನಗನ್ನಿಸ್ತು ಅನೇಕ ಸಂಶೋಧನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಭಾರತ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಈ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಮಿಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಪಿತಾಮ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಖಾದರ್ ಕೂರಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಾವು ರಕ್ತದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಏನು ಸಕ್ಕರೆ ಅಂಶವನ್ನು ಉಳಿಯುತ್ತೆ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಮೀಟರ್ ಏನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಸಂಶೋಧನೆ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಲ್ಲೂ ಖಾದರ್ ಅವರ ಕೊಡುಗೆ ಇದೆ ಅವರು ಸಿ ಎಫ್ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ಟನ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಡೆಲಿವೇರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಮೆರಿಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಲಂಡನ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೀಗೆ ಅನೇಕ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ಅಪಾರ ಜ್ಞಾನವನ್ನು ಬಂದಿರತಕ್ಕಂತ ಸಜ್ಜನ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಗಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಜೀವನ ಶೈಲಿನೇ ಇವತ್ತು ಅವರ ಯಶಸ್ಸಿಗೆ ಕಾರಣ ಮತ್ತು ಅವರು ನುಡಿದಾಗೆ ನಿಂತಕ್ಕಂಥವ್ರು ಸುಮಾರು ಮೂವತ್ತು ನಲವತ್ತು ವಿಶ್ವವಿಖ್ಯಾತ ಜರ್ನಲ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಅವರು ಬರೀತಾರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಖಾದರ್ ಅವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾರತ ಸ್ಕೌಟ್ ಗೈಡ್ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಈ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ಸೇವೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋ ಉದ್ದೇಶದಿಂದ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನವನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟ್ರೆ ಕಳೆದ ಸುಮಾರು ಆರೂವರೆ ಲಕ್ಷ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಸದಸ್ಯರು ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇವರೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಸಹಿತ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕಲಿಸ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಯತ್ನವನ್ನ ನೂರು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಡನ್ ಪ್ರೌಡ್ರ್ ಅವರ ಪ್ರೇರಣೆಯಿಂದ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಹಂಬಲ್ ವರ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ಇವತ್ತು ನಾವು ಭಗವಂತನಿಗೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನ ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಕಾರಣ ಏನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂತಹ ಕೊರೋನಾದ ಸಂಕಷ್ಟದ ಸಂದರ್ಭದ
ಈ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಮಾರು ಐವತ್ತು ಲಕ್ಷಕ್ಕೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಮಾಸ್ಕ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರೇ ಮಾಡಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಸ್ವಂತ ಖರ್ಚಿನಿಂದ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಸಾವಿರಾರು ನಿರಾಶ್ರಿತರಿಗೆ ಆಹಾರವನ್ನು ಕೊಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಕೆಲಸ ಔಷಧಿಯನ್ನು ಕೊಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನ ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಮತ್ತು ಹತ್ತು ಸಾವಿರಕ್ಕೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಜನ ಹಗಲು ರಾತ್ರಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಸೇವಕರುಗಳು ವ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಚುಚ್ಚು ಮದ್ದನ್ನು ತುಗ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಕೆಲಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ ತೊಡಗಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇವೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತದೆ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಸೇವಕರಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾರ್ಯಕರ್ತರು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಕಾರ್ಯಕರ್ತನಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದು ನನಗೆ ಬಹಳ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾನು ತಿಳಿದಿದ್ದೆ ಈ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ಗಳ ಮೂಲಕ ಜ್ಞಾನದ ಪ್ರಚಾರವನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರಿಗೆ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾವು ಹೊರಟಿದ್ದೇವೆ ನನಗೆ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಇದೆ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಆದ್ರೂ ಇದನ್ನು ಅಳವಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಬಹಳ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ನನ್ನ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಕನಕ್ಪುರ ತಾಲೂಕು ಈ ಹಿಂದೆ ಆಗ ನನಗೆ ಪರಿಚಯ ಆದವರು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನನ್ನ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರಾದ ಶಿವನಂಜಪ್ಪನವರು ಶಿವನಂಜಪ್ಪನವರು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಅಭಿಮಾನಿಗಳು ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನೀವು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಬಹಳ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಜ್ಞಾನವನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಬಹಳ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಮನುಷ್ಯರವರು ಒಂದು ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ನಲ್ಲಿನ ಅವರೇ ಹುಟ್ಟು ಹಾಕೊಂಡು ಬಹಳ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಮೌಲ್ಯಭರಿತವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣವನ್ನು ಕೊಡೋದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಆ ಊರಿನ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆಗೆ ಬಹಳ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ತಮ್ಮ ಔಷಧಿಯನ್ನ ಸಾವಿರಾರು ಜನಗಳಿಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಕರೋನಾ ಬರದೇ ಇರೋ ಹಾಗೆ ತಡೆಗಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ ಶಿವನಂಜಪ್ಪ ಶಿವನಂಜಪ್ಪನವರು ನನಗ್ ಮೂರು ದಿನಗಳ ಹಿಂದೆ ತಮ್ಮ ಹೆಸರನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ನಾವು ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಸರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಅವ್ರು ಒಪ್ತಾರ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಒಪ್ಪಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ನನಗ್ ಬಹಳ ಸಂತೋಷ ಆಯ್ತು ಶಿವನಂಜಪ್ಪ ಹೇಳಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ತಾವು ಒಪ್ಕೊಂಡು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಇದು ಕೇವಲ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಗೆ ಅಂತ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಗೆಲ್ಲೂ ಲೈವ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಇತರೆ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ಬಳಕೆಗಳೇನಿವೆ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಲಕ್ಷಾಂತರ ಜನ ಇದನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ತಾರೆ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋಟ್ ಡೌಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಧರ್ಮ ಜಾತಿ ಪ್ರಾದೇಶ ಭಾಷೆ ಇದರ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸಗಳು ಏನೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ಮನುಷ್ಯರನ್ನ ಮಳ್ಳೆದ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಶಿವನಂಜಪ್ಪನವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಬಹಳ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನಾಯಕರಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಾನು ಮುಖ್ಯ ಆಯುಕ್ತನಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅವರು ಕಾರಣಕರ್ತರಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ತಾವು ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ಮುಂದಿನ ದಿನಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಸಹಿತ ಮಾಡಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ತಮ್ಮ ಸಹಕಾರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಂದರ್ಭಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಇರಲಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಸಂದೇಶವನ್ನ ನಾವು ಜನಗಳಿಗೆ ತಲುಪಿಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಿತ್ರರಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಮಧುಸೂದನ್ ಹವಾಲಾರ್ ಅವರು ಈಗ ತಾನೇ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ನಾವೇನು ಈ ವರ್ಷದ ಎನ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಡೇ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅದ್ ಆ ಒಂದು ದಿವಸ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಇದೇ ವಿಚಾರಗಳನ್ನ ಇಡೀ ಜೂನ್ ತಿಂಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಹಬ್ಬಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ನಮ್ಮ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಇತರೆ ಪದಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಎಂ ಎ ಕಾಲಿದವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಸ್ಕೌಟ್ ಕಮಿಷನರು ನಮ್ಮ ಗೈಡ್ ಕಮಿಷನರ್ ಗೀತಾ ನಟರಾಜ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿಗಳಾದ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಗಂಗಪ್ಪೌಡ್ರು ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಇಲಾಖೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದವರು ಜಂಟಿ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿಗಳಾದ ಬಸವರಾಜವರು ಸಹಿತ ಹೌದು ರಾಮಲತಾರವರು ಇತರೆ ಪದಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ನಮ್ಮ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಆಯುಕ್ತರುಗಳು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಸಹಕಾರವನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಈ ರೀತಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅವರು ಭಾಗವಹಿಸುವುದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಅವಕಾಶವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ನೆನೆಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ತಮಗೆ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಪ್ರೀತಿ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಮತ್ತು ಗೌರವದಿಂದ ಈ ಸಭೆಗೆ ಆಮಂತ್ರಣವನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತೇನೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡಿ ದೇವ್ರು 
associated with uh, Sindhya, sir. Uh, he's been a wonderful human being. I uh, have been following him for a long time uh, about the scouts and uh, the work he has done otherwise also in the Karnataka uh, government. He was uh, doing a lot of good work and uh, he's not a normal um, politician otherwise. <laughs> I, I will explain to you later if, if time permits what I mean by normal politician. <laughs> so uh, I have a lot of respect uh, for this great person. Uh, the fact that he is now also leading the uh, very important uh, um, service-oriented uh, life uh, all along. You see, this is amazing, even at this age and after having done everything uh, in the politics and all, still he is interested in serving people and I just am amazed. See how sincere he is, the cap, the tie, and it's, it's amazing. The way he sits, it's, it's incredible. The, the, the commitment he has at this age, uh, it's incredible. So everyone should uh, learn from him. And uh, in the next coming uh, one year or so, we'll make him fit. Uh, we'll reduce his uh, tummy and uh, make him look like a soldier. Uh, well, that's what is going to happen. <laughs> uh, so that's possible when we go back to our uh, uh, traditional uh, food habits and traditional food materials. And before I go to the uh, concept of food and our uh, ancients, ancestral grains and all, I just want to spend 10, 15 minutes with the present uh, situation. And the last uh, 10, 15 minutes, I would also allow to spend on uh, environmental aspects of our uh, way of living. And uh, Cynthia sir mentioned about uh, art of living. Actually, our uh, Siri Jeevana Marga, we named it as Siri Jeevana Marga. This is actually, we, we have called it the science and art of living. The science and art of living. Because we understand the knowledge and get into blocks of science and uses of scientific knowledge should be artistic. So just science alone does not help human beings. We need the artistic way of using the knowledge of science. So we call our way of living science and art of living, the science and art of living. So what is the science? The science is actually now missing in the so-called scientific world. The scientific world now thinks virus is there, we have to kill it. And thereafter, vaccinations, thereafter steroids, thereafter some medicine that can kill the virus. <laughs> and that is the problem with the present day science which has become dogmatic. The dogma is that there is a virus, we are here, it is going to kill us, so we will kill it. This is absolute, unfounded, unscientific principle. The viruses, the bacteria, the fungus, the small worms, the big worms, lot of animals, fauna and flora are given by God and we all have to exist and coexist. So first thing we need to develop is tolerance. And the theories of Western science are just the opposite. They are always saying, whoever is fit will survive and others will die. This kind of theories and there is a microbe which is dangerous to us it is going to be killing us so we will kill them the antibiotics the word antibiotic means to kill a biological system that is bacteria virus or fungus whatever it is so the concepts are actually not according to or fine tuned with nature but the ancient system that existed in India the naturopathy, the Ayurveda, the other systems of medicinal value have always been based on a single sentence, Sarve Janaha Sukhino Bhavan. And uh, don't mistake the word Janaha here to people. Janaha means the one who is born. All things that are born have to be Sukhino Bhavantu. Sukhino Bhavantu means not 
enjoying, dancing, partying. Just be comfortable. Sukhino bhavanta. Sukha asana. Wherever you are comfortable. Without any dis-ease. When you are at ease, it is called sukha. Then you are diseased, you are at the roga. So we are talking about a common, stable condition, which is the middle. No excitement, no depression. And that is sukha. So how do we achieve this sukha? By not hating others, by killing others, by exploiting others. And why am I coming to all these aspects? Unless we have the tolerance, we cannot have immunity. How can I live along with others? If others are trying to cause harm, we need to overcome that by our strength, not by killing others. So, small bacteria, virus, they all are actually looking for a place to live. And our body is a well-nourished well complicated and complex living system. So somewhere these viruses, bacteria want to come and make their home. So 90% of our body is comprised of various kinds of other microbes. In fact, we have only 10% of our cells, our cells, whether it is stomach cell, whether it is skin cell, whether it is your nose, whether it is your hair, whether it is your liver, all the things put together, bones, brain, kidney, everything put together, were only 10% approximately our cells. The remaining 90% of the living cells that we harbor are microbes. It's a different domain, different world altogether. But we live along with them. We are living for centuries, not such a millennia, that we have to coexist symbiotically. And now and then, some of them can turn to be dangerous for us. But then, if you allow nature to work, we will find general immunity and see to it, nothing happens to us. And this is the basic principle of living. And this is the basic principle of natural immunization. Instead, you say, I'll give an antibiotic, I'll give a steroid, I'll give a vaccine. Then the virus being short-lived, which is actually 14 days to 21 days, present corona, it can change itself. And don't think the virus is just a piece of mRNA, which is actually information. Information with the time will become intelligent. Information with the time becomes intelligent. And that's what is happening to corona. Corona, you try to kill it with chemicals, vaccines, and all this. It has changed itself into Corona second wave. Somewhere else, third wave. Somewhere else, fourth wave. And you go on applying all these artificial chemicals to take care of yourself. You are going to invite more wrath of nature. Because nature is not just you alone. Nature wants to keep even corona along with it. You can meddle with coronavirus and that's what many people are trying to do in understanding the viral world. It will change. It will keep changing because its lifetime is very short, shortest. So any life form which is very short but has information keeps adapting to the next and next and next future conditions. And that's what is happening with corona. So what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to keep quiet. Actually. So you have fever because of virus. You just keep quiet. Why fever has come to our body? It is trying to take care of. It is negotiating. It is trying to talk. It is trying to cut a deal with the virus. Okay, you are come. You have come. We will try to do something. Let us try to understand each other. And this understanding time, talking time, Sandhikala is actually fever. Then what you do in, in your so-called urgency of trying to take care of the virus, you are going to take some dolo, some paracetamol, some. So you are suppressing the inflammation and fever, which actually is a way of communicating to the virus. 
and communicating to our immune system what is happening. So you have stopped the first interaction of virus and our body. Then what does happen? Then what does our body do? It tries to reduce the oxygen concentration in the body so that the virus comes to talking terms. But then what do you do? You give some steroid, you do this, you do that and try to increase the oxygen. So the interaction of virus and our system, immune system, is being screwed up by our intervention. So what I'm trying to communicate to you is that if we keep quiet, out of 100 or out of 1,000, one person might die. But if you do this, if you give steroid, if you give antibiotic, if you give this, out of 100, one fellow will die. So, and on top of it, now you are saying, I have caught hold of you virus and I have got a system studied and I'm making a vaccine so that any corona it will hold. Then corona is not going to keep quiet. It is just going to change its code, some other thing. So it becomes a second wave. So you have your vaccine ready. It may take care of one or two or three corona variants, but already, it has got to 28 different strengths. That means the more you dump chemicals and unnatural things, the more it is going to come out with different variants. So if you are to keep quiet in the first place itself, there is going to be a nice conversation between the new stuff and our system. And there will be actually within six to eight months, everything would have set. No problem. And that's what has been happening from time immemorial. That means if our immune system is strong, everything will fall in place. So what are we supposed to do to make our immune system strong? You got to follow the natural means and natural methods. So what are the basic aspects of our natural immune to be strong? There are only three aspects we know from the long and large amount of scientific data that if you can keep your body fit with good amount of exercise and vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D. Out of the three aspects, your immune system is going to be very strong. So what is B, what is C, what is D? Vitamin C, you can get from any kind of food and sadly, we cannot make vitamin C. We have to provide some raw material to our body, whether it is mango, whether it is goa, whether it is lemon, whether it is orange, whether it is pineapple, whether it is tamarind, whether it is like this. All star materials in the world can give you vitamin C. So what did we do from time? memorial in India, from Kanyakumari to Kashmir, we have been making pickles because when in nature, when you have excess lemon, excess mango, excess gooseberry, excess tamarind, we always added some methi seeds, some curcumin that is haldi, alchna, all these wonderful procedures made this sour material to be stabilized and we used to partake along with our food, buttermilk and pickles. So homemade pickles is our wonderful habit. Poor people, rich people, middle class people, any person in India has some form of the pickle in his house. You have to make it when there is a material. So vitamin C, if you are consuming, but what happened? These Westerners came and said, oh, don't eat pickle. It is a lot of salt. It is a lot of spice. It is this, it is that. Your BP will go. It is come back and that happens. So most of us stopped eating pickles because in the name of so-called science, our wonderful food habit, which used to supply Vitamin C, one of the most important aspect for many of biochemical reactions was left out. Then vitamin B12, which is actually the most important thing 
which no one can make no animal can make in the world only microbes can make and that's why microbes and us have to coexist so your gut microbes are the ones which will make your vitamin b12 but what did we do in the last 40 to 50 years we have been feeding ourselves all pesticide ridden fertilizer ridden rice and wheat which we are actually killing our gut microbes as if it is not enough we have found out many kinds of antibiotics even before the birth of the baby we are pumping antibiotics in the icus when there is baby being born in cesarean method and if the baby is born in natural method the mother lodges microbial inoculum into the mouth of the baby if the baby is coming from the vagina but then we are cutting it open the stomach and removing the baby so that wonderful gift of the mother when the baby is born is robbed by the so called advanced techniques of operation in modern day theaters and why did it increase because it became a commercial activity for all these so called doctors so out of millions births on this planet one or two births can go wrong that is the nature's way but then now present day modern doctors assume that it's going to be wrong something is going to happen so 70 to 90% of births now on this planet are cesarean and this is the sad story of present day modern science so we are robbing away the gift of the mother to the early born baby the inoculum gut microbes are completely not there most of the babies and before they are born we are ready with 28 vaccines for different kinds of microbes see the way we are training our body completely away from nature so hence the microbial count in our body started decreasing on top of it in the last 20 25 years we have been pumping antibiotics left and right without any count without any scientific attitude just because it has become business for the pharmaceutical companies we have been completely disabling our body immune system completely out of whack so we don't have vitamin b12 in fact nowadays if you go and check all over the world 7.4 billion 5 to 7 billion people are actually vitamin b and vitamin d deficient the reason is our way of life we do not understand to live scientifically so we have no vitamin c we have no vitamin b and come to vitamin d the most and easily freely available just sit in the sun you get vitamin d because the cholesterol under your skin gets converted to vitamin d so naturally and then gets deposited in the liver for want of any other chemical reactions in the body it will keep up so if you sit 3 days in a week you have 10 day reserve in your liver so instead what are we doing we want to go and kill some fish thinking that vitamin d is there you want to go and kill some bear and take its liver so people started thinking that vitamin d is in milk vitamin d is in fish vitamin d is in... no the vitamin d is made by the liver of the bear for its purpose to get vitamin d out of that liver and make it into yours it is impossible to get it completely it takes enough number of steps to do that but when you do it yourself it is the easiest way of supplying to your chemical reactions by chemical reaction so the science that you think is helping you is actually creating internal problems because things that have to happen naturally are not allowed to happen naturally if you follow this western scientific model hence so many diseases so when you screw up vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d you have all kinds of problems because the immune system is not functioning at its best so when you have vitamin these three important vitamins not being 
given properly and naturally, you are in trouble. And that's what is happening. Now, the whole world is shivering for a simple corona. In fact, its pathogenity is, is very, very less. 0.8% people only will die. 0.8%. If it manages to beat your immune system. But we are so weak in the immune department that we are giving away ourselves and it is transmutating and creating havoc. So the simple thing you have to do. How do we replenish these three? And in six weeks, we all can become immune strong. Very simple. Our age-old way of eating pickles. If you don't want to eat pickles, you can take lemon, you can take gooseberry, you can take guava fruit, you can eat mango. Now mango season. All of you eat daily one mango for next six weeks. You are good to go. And how do we make vitamin B12? Ambali, khamir, fermented porridge. Just take any grain which has good amount of fiber, soak it in water for 10 to 12 hours. And then cook on a slow flame in an earthen pot so that microbial transformations, microbial populations are invited. Tie a cotton cloth and keep it for 10 hours if it is winter, if it is summer, 6 hours. Then you consume that ambali or khamir or fermented porridge on a regular basis for 6 weeks. Your microbes that are lost due to your unscientific method of living and eating things, you will start replenishing all the microbes and your vitamin B12 will start coming up naturally. And then vitamin D. So simple. Instead of partying till 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock and not getting up, please get up before sun rises. Sit where the sun falls on you for half an hour to one hour. Our simple way is to just go around walking. In fact, our ancestors devised a yoga. Most important thing in the world is Surya Namaskar. So in that orange color, when the sun is rising, you stay there for seven to 10 minutes. You have enough vitamin D produced. If you do one day Surya Namaskar, you have three day vitamin D for you. So if you do for three days, you have for 10 days. So simple. So even today, tomorrow onwards, all over the world, if people follow these three simple things, in six weeks, no corona will bother you. No variant will touch you. No pathogenicity enters your body because you have the tolerance you have the immunization going on properly in your body. You will produce antibodies enough for next future generations. In fact, your mother, now once you go through this process, you give birth to a next kid, your kid will be corona resistant because natural birth, she will also pass on the information and you are already set to go. And that's what happens with the milk, with the natural birth. The mother feeds the baby, the cholesterol. Directly antibodies are given. And what is this cholesterol? It is the conglomeration of antibodies synthesized based on her information, passing on the immunity to the baby through the milk because the baby is not yet ready for next to three to five months. So it becomes very important for pregnant women who are going to give birth babies to be healthy, to be immune strong, because the future generation that you are going to give birth has to be immune strong. And all these fundamental aspects of living, the science of living and giving birth is completely screwed up in the present day, modern, in quotes, scientific world. So when something prolongs long time, it becomes dogma. The same thing has happened with the present today, 100 year old science, which has become agent of for commercial activities. So now all the science and the 
discoveries are all tweaked to make money patents intellectual properties research development all this is not keeping the science as pure science it is being tweaked twisted into a system that can generate money after money for this investors and this is the real story so we have screwed up the science of living and then the art of living we need to be tolerant and promote every living thing on this planet and that becomes art of living so when you have the aspects of science and art incorporated into your way of life which our ancestors did with alan and artistic aesthetic sense they said directly sarve janaha sukhino bhavantu let's keep every living thing on this planet at ease that is the meaning of that sentence let us keep every living thing on this planet at ease at ease to keep at ease is the most important you be at ease then there is no this is and that happens through natural principles and you need to understand what we have chosen the path is completely unscientific because to be natural we need to be pumping in glucose into our blood slow and steadily but we have chosen because of agricultural practices modern day agriculture to produce more and more using pesticides fertilizers so in one acre you want to make 30 quintals 40 quintals of rice or wheat or 50 quintals of wheat. but the poor soil cannot sustain so you start putting fertilizers you start putting fertilizers you have water storage and then put fertilizers so that this rice and wheat can grow in large quantities so one acre instead of yielding 8 to 10 quintals in the olden days now it has to yield 40 to 50 quintals so while doing that what did we do we put started fertilizers and pesticides and more and more the soil started losing its microbial population which is again very important for the plants to grow it is a symbiotic living of microbes fungus bacteria everything put together there are viral strains that help the plants there are fungal strains that help the plants to convert actually to fix nitrogen from atmosphere to as a fertilizer for the natural plants to have bacteria doing the job and what did we do by putting fertilizers and pesticides we have killed them we have made our soil completely unfertile and then we keep climbing we are producing more and more food but then while producing more food you are supplying the poison and you are thinking this rice and wheat is your food and this rice and wheat without fiber pumps glucose in large quantities your blood and your blood sugar increases so glucose imbalance is created you have already created microbial imbalance you are creating by choice of rice wheat and sugar made your blood glucose go high in a short span of time after you consume these foods so rice and wheat sugar is causing glucose imbalance so what does the body do what does the liver do what does the pancreas do what does the endocrine system do it has to do something to do this extra glucose you are pumping in what i am trying to communicate is even if you eat two chapatis or four idlis or small amount of palav 50 grams or 100 grams of rice cooked and eat palav in 15 to 20 minutes your blood is receiving 30 to 50 grams of glucose in its blood and if you drink one pepsi 40 grams of sugar if you drink one cup of coffee 5 grams of sugar tea 10 grams of sugar see and your body has 5 liters of blood and you cannot have more than 1 gram per liter that means the total amount of glucose present in your blood sugar that is called 
you cannot have more than 5 grams at a given time but then when you are eating how much are you pumping 25 grams 40 grams 50 grams and if you are sweet lover if you eat gulab jamun mysore pak or ice cream or cake or pies or donuts you are pumping in 70 to 80 grams of sugar oh then how is that we are okay when we have so much sugar going into our blood the system is complicated it tries to manage what does it do it converts it into glycogen meat fat cholesterol triglycerides all kinds of adjustments the body is trying to do the endocrine glands the liver the pancreas and all many other systems are trying to help reduce the glucose in your blood stream while doing that you are going to put on weight you are going to block your heart you are going to pump all the toxic materials into different parts of your body and the joints are going to be accumulating the rheumatic factor arthritic factors and you are going to start inviting diseases and you call this lifestyle diseases this is the problem with the present day modern allopathy system in the first place the problem came into existence because we have chosen the wrong food if only we have a means of controlling the glucose slowly and steadily into your blood stream that means if you have the right choice of the food which releases glucose slowly and steadily so to release glucose slowly and steadily you need a grain where there is the fiber interlocculated that means it is locking itself into the carbohydrate so that our body has to release glucose slowly and steadily fighting the fiber to release glucose and that is the digestive system which has to do the job so if you eat without fiber in the carbohydrate without fiber the carbohydrate releases glucose fast very fast so you have to eat your food the grain which you are selecting has to have enough fiber which after absorbing water should be approximately 40% minimum 40% 40 grams at least per day so that calculations led me to go to our ancestral grains because our ancestors did not have bp did not have sugar did not have thyroid did not have arthritis did not have rheumatism at all just 150 years ago so that's why i actually i traveled almost 3 to 4000 villages and met more than 1000 persons who are above 80 years old this was in 1997 to 2000 those three years and i talked to all of them and then figured out that they were eating completely differently completely different grains they never ate rice they never ate wheat they never ate sugar at all there was no sugar there were natural sweeteners from fruits from toddy palm jaggery from silver date palm jaggery and coconut palm see palm trees they used to get that fructose filled gourd jaggery so fructose takes long time to become glucose even if you consume it so you have sweet but not glucose flooding your blood so this is how i figured out last 20 25 years that all the modern day food materials are completely out of sync out of science for the human body hence the modern day long term diseases short term diseases and infectious diseases are slowly rising day by day decade by decade and we are in this particular present difficult condition there are lot of obese people lot of bp patients lot of diabetes patients and the numbers are not coming down in the last 50 years this allopathic modern day so called scientific world has been doing lot of work but not even a single disease is decreasing instead more number of diseases are 
on the rise. Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, autistic kids are being born in more and more numbers. So I figured it out 25 years ago that we all are doing the biggest mistake in the name of modern agriculture and modern medicine. This is the logic. This is the science. These are the facts. So what do we do? We need to get back to the old ancestral grains and then figure out whether we can cure these diseases. Can we make our tummies invite microbes again so that vitamin B is taken care of? Can we eat the old time food materials like gooseberry, like lemon, like mangoes, like all these wonderful varieties of foods and the varieties of vegetables, varieties of fruits, all these things put together, not only nourish and give nutrients on top, they encourage the diversity of gut microbes in our body. So what you eat is the most important thing for you to be healthy, not what you are taking as medicines or the MRI or the CAT scan or this scan, that scan. All those things in the name of technology are just fascinating. I agree, but they are actually unnecessary because we have not understood the science and art of living. If we become healthy, there is no need to go to a doctor at all. And that is possible for us if we choose our food right. So what did we do? We have taken five grains who have got, which have got the fiber, 8% our foxtail millet, 10% kodo millet, 9.8% little millet, 12.5% brown top millet, 10% barnyard millet. These five grains whose ratio carbohydrate by fiber becomes single digit. Whereas rice, if you divide the carbohydrate by its fiber ratio, it is 395. Wheat is 75 or so. So the higher the carbohydrate by fiber ratio, it is bad for your gut. So you have to avoid rice and wheat and start eating these five grains which are very well equipped with fiber and a lot of nutrients, vitamin B, vitamin C, all kinds of vitamins are flooded into these wonderful grains by God, God's of grace, God's grace. So when you have fiber, carbohydrate, proteins, nutrients, minerals, and that is the grain which we need to consume. The only problem is the modern day agriculture and scientists have systematically eliminated these wonderful grains from the planet Earth itself. In fact, the whole human race was eating these grains. If you go back and do research on the food and food grains of the world, these grains come out as the ones that were eaten by a lot of people. In fact, you go back to our ancestral Puranas, and many literatures, you will see the references to these grains complete, including Jesus Christ ate a grain which grows in 60 days and absorbs water from the moistures to grow, and that is brown top millet. Non leavened bread, the Last Supper, that's how it is described. So, all over the world, people were eating and in fact barnyard millet is called Japanese millet. Brown top millet is called American millet. Little millet is called African millet. And Koda millet is called Himalayan millet. Like this. And the foxtail millet, Italian millet. The Alps and the mountainous and the open spaces of all that European mountains. Uh, the uh, Navane. Uh, foxtail millet was growing. So when we eat these grains, we have found gangrenous patients, the diabetic patients becoming well. They are completely healing by themselves. The grain or the gangrene that the doctors wanted to amputate the legs are saved 
hundreds and hundreds, thousands now, the last 10 years, thousands and thousands of people all over the globe have been saving their amputation uh, conditions because they adapted the real grains to be their main staple food. So once you start eating these five grains, your diabetic condition goes away from your body in a matter of six months to one year. And thousands of people who are taking insulin have completely left. Completely left. And it's been 10 years, 15 years. They're all doing very fine. All over the world. And of our Karnataka, uh, it has been... Uh, we are the pioneers now to bring back all our uh, millets. Uh, Karnataka only, we have traveled, we have made everything happen. And in fact, I'm proud to say that Karnataka is the number one state in the world which produces maximum amount of uh, millets. And now, other states are catching up. Tamil Nadu, Andhra, Telangana. In the last four or five years, I've been traveling to all these states and then trying to uh, make people aware of these wonderful grains and the health benefits that these grains can give to all the human race. And luckily, even Corona, we have had hundreds, not hundreds, thousands. I, I, actually, I should say, uh, being uh, very audacious, that lakhs of people, uh, maybe crores, I don't know, are doing fine when they adapted this science and art of living. So you take care of vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D. So next six weeks, you sit in the sun, early morning sun, for just 20-30 minutes. Or you can do 21 Surya Namaskaras. Or just walk around. Whatever way. And you cannot walk. You cannot do Surya Namaskara. Just have a chair and sit. Don't wear something on the top of your body. Keep your shoulders and uh, the back open. Even ladies, just keep your back open and sit. Watch the sun. Go upstairs. Sit in your and if people do not have upstairs, just be in the sun. Watch the sun. Your vitamin D is taken care of. Once vitamin D is taken care of, your immune strength starts happening in your body. And then God has given so many different varieties of greens, leaves, like grass, tulsi, tinospora, again, Pongemia, neem, people. We have figured out these seven leaves when you take in form of decoction two days once, seven into two, 14 days, like that three repeats, three cycles, six weeks. The body starts getting the antigenic property from these decoctions. They provide models of various kinds of microbes that can enter your body and your antibody system starts functioning. So you are training your body to get antibodies through these decoctions, various kinds of microbes. Apart from they giving antigenic materials, there may be some viruses, bacteria entering your body, which actually do very good for you. Symbiotic bacteria, which can also mimic and give model or training to your immune system. And that's when people who are consuming these decoctions, of course, you have to stop drinking coffee, tea, Pepsi, Coke, all these nonsense things, because they are going to remove your immunity day by day. You understand the logic? This is the logic. So in our language, we call Kashaya. And the early morning sun, Kashaya. Kashaya, Kashaya. The ochre color, wonderful sun rays and the decoction are very important ingredients to build up our immunity. And apart from that, the microbial symbiotic living, which is very important. That means we need to have patience and tolerance for other living things on this planet. Live and let live. That's what who told this? Great Mahavira told me.
that patience and the tolerance is the first principle to have you great immune strength and that's what our constitution says panchasi just bear with things sahishnate wait have peace have tolerance diversified things are the nature of things diversity is the nature of things so let's have tolerance and everything will start settling down we live amicably peacefully even if a pathogen comes we'll convert it into a microbe that can live along with us it will it may not do good for us but it cannot harm us anymore once we start exercising our immune process and that is the way we are born that is the way we have to live but what is this present day science trying to tell us oh survival of the fittest this darwin's theory and then microbes posture oh that fellow is bad for you you kill it with penicillin you kill it with another antibiotic or oh, you kill it ah now you have laser you will shoot it with laser what kind of nonsense are you or you kill it with radiation you kill it with this you do this it will come out with much more strength and attack you and that's what is happening because we are not exercising the basic scientific principles so the more tolerant you are the stronger you become and that is the nature's principle so we need to follow nature don't eat unnatural things so it is high time human race has recognized this and start throwing away the unnaturally grown things that means what it means is that we have to get back to our old system of growing food in a natural way and these wonderful grains do not require any water any fertilizer any pesticide just 3 to 4 rains are good enough to grow these grains so just to comparatively give you the natural resource as the scale we will take water 8000 liters of water is required to grow 1 kilo rice 28000 liters of water is required to grow 1 kilo sugar 10000 liters of water is required to grow 1 kilo of wheat okay and 50000 liters of water is required to grow 1 kilo of meat so when you are eating meat how draconian how devilish you are to the environment whereas these five millets especially kodo millet which takes four and a half months to grow but requires the least amount of water to grow 1 kilo is 250 liters that's it 200 liters are also good enough 200 and 10000 for wheat 200 for kodo and 8000 for rice okay and fox tail will add three months it grows it takes only 300 liters barnyard millet 350 little millet 400 so everything is below 400 m liters maximum that means you take average as 300 liters for the millets and rice 8000 liters that means for 1000 liter you can grow 3 kilos 8000 25 kilos 1 kilo rice is 25 kilos of millets you can grow then 1 kilo rice five people eat whereas 1 kilo millet 10 people have to eat. because when you soak the fiber absorbs and it just becomes enough for 10 people so 25 into 10 250 people you can feed in the water that you can grow to get 1 kilo rice which you can feed only 5 people so 250 by 
50 times more people can be fed with the same water. That means if Bihar, which has approximately 10 crore people, that much amount of water, if you give me, I can grow. How many crores of people can eat this food? 10 crore into 50. You see, 5 billion people. That means half the world we can feed. That is the kind of environmental damage we are doing to the world, to the planet, by choosing rice and wheat as our food. And forget about meat and sugar cane. Sugar cane, you know, the world is keeping 15 to 19 percent of the agricultural land is kept for sugar cane growing. Consuming 28,000 liters of water per kilo of sugar. And India alone is producing 56 lakh tons of sugar. Karnataka, 5 lakh tons. Maharashtra, 12 to 18 lakhs of tons of sugar. Like this, you imagine the amount of water burden to the agriculture by choosing these three modern day food materials which are actually the result of green revolution because green revolution wants to use fertilizers and pesticides in the name of increase in the food production what have we done to ourselves we are damaging the planet one side damaging our health and we still have not recognized that it is because of this rice wheat sugar and meat that we are in this position. And if there is any environmentalist not recognizing this and talking about planting trees, taking care of this, taking care of that, you are daydreaming. You want to save the planet, first change your food. Only then you can do something to the next generation. So the present day food choices are going to determine the future of next generation. So if we do not change in the next 10 years, our food to our ancestral grains, which are the most environmental friendly, and you can grow them anywhere. And in fact, human beings stupidity is that we have chosen this rice, wheat and sugar cane as our food which can be grown only on 16% of irrigated lands. We cannot increase that beyond 16 to 18%. And however much you can grow, you can grow only in this much land. And the remaining 84% of the land, which can be used to grow the millets and feed the whole world, we have neglected completely zero attention by the world because it doesn't centralize and give the power to these corporate companies. This is the real reason why these millets are completely eliminated by these so-called corporate companies and they do not want to, you to even utter these words, millets. They don't want it in any place, absolutely no place in our but if human race has to survive into future with health, there is no other option for the human race left to adopt these five wonderful grains as their main staple food. Not only for present condition of Corona, for future generations to live on this planet in a healthy and peaceful manner, there is no option at all for the world other than adopting to these wonderful grains as main staple food. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for giving me this opportunity to share. And uh, uh, also I want to, um, just for the reference, we have cured thousands of diabetic patients, hundreds and hundreds of cancer patients, and many more diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and so-called genetically difficult cases like 
dystrophy, sclerosis, SLE, all these cases are also becoming well, many of them. So it is the food that makes you healthy, not the medicines. So medicines mean you are sick. That means your choice of food is wrong. So ultimately, I want to end my session saying that if your food is right, no need of medicine. And if your food is wrong, no medicine will work for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for this uh, beautiful uh, input and inspiration that you have given. Uh, sir, we have a couple of questions. Uh, I would like to Absolutely. take sure. the question, sir. Uh, yes. One question is, uh, sir, can you please repeat the name of the five millets again? Name of the grains. Five millets, yes, sir. Can you tell it yes. in Canada also, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, and I will also send you the PDF completely yes, uh, written in English, Telugu, Kannada, Tamil, every language. I have got them ready. And if you send me the uh, Madhu, you are Madhu? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am. I will send you all the books, including okay, yes. Corona handbook. And yes, I will repeat. I will repeat the five grains. Yes, sir. The five grains are Kodo millet called Arka in Canada, Foxtail millet Navane in Canada, Barnyard millet Woodalu in Canada, Little millet Samalu in Canada, and the last but not the least all five are very important that we should understand there is nothing like one is better than the other arka sama udulu navane korle brown top has got 12.5 percent of fiber so again i will repeat brown top barnyard foxtail kodo little in english in canada arka sama Navane, Vodalu, Korle. Ye Aidu Dhanya, now Uta Madak Shurumadre, Nimaro Gya, our thing in the Yerdo or Shavalagade, then Takaile Idru. You Kaile Hesre Togobedi, Yalla Maya Agate, guarantee. Guarantee I Maya. And we have had opportunity of curing lot of village people uh, from this corona, dengue, swine flu, many of this. Infectious diseases, we have had decoctions and medicines distributed all over many of the villages. And Shivananjapai has been our great uh, uh, help in uh, working in the villages. Not only Kanakapura side, we have done in Kolagala, we have done in Chamrajnagara, we have done in HD Kote. Almost all around, not only uh, in our villages, we have extended our... Uh, service to North Karnataka villages also, Raichur, Ballari, almost all districts of uh, Karnataka. In fact, I have, there is not a single taluk which I have not visited in Karnataka. So we have been distributing the information. And uh, in fact, we have given lots of farmer seeds and we have also helped a lot of farmers train how to grow these grains. Uh, we have uh, got uh, jungle farming natural way of doing things along with all uh, forest plants we grow and so only jungle farming can be the future way of uh, farming for uh, next generations because zero input zero input no inputs required your labor is all that is required and your love and passion for farming in a natural way can get human race to be healthy and our planet to be safe for all the living things to exist peacefully. Thank you, sir. Sir, in uh, question, sir, can you please tell us how to prepare kashaya? Yeah, very simple. Now, again, I will repeat seven kashaya in Kannada and English. Okay. Garike, Kannada. Synodon in English. Tulasi, next one. Tulasi, Asimam in English. Amrutabali in Kannada. Tinospora in English. Bilva, Bilva in Kannada. Egel in English. Honge, Honge in Kannada. Pongimia in English. 
neem devu in kannada neem in english arli in kannada ficus antare ficus people people tree antare ade buddha bodhi vriksha antare so ee yelu kashaya ondu hidi estu garike ondu hidi estu garike hullu nalak nimisha kudusta iro neerinalli ಕುದಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಸ್ಟವ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮುಚ್ಚಳ ಹಾಕಿ ಎರಡು ನಿಮಿಷ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಶೋಧಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಉಗುರು ಬೆಚ್ಚಗೆ ಕುಡಿಯಬೇಕು ಎರಡು ದಿವಸ ಎರಡು ದಿವಸ ತುಳಸಿ ಎರಡು ದಿವಸ ಅಮೃತ ಬಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ದಿವಸ ಬಿಲ್ವೆ ಎರಡು ದಿವಸ ಹೊಂಗೆ ಎರಡು ದಿವಸ ಬೇವು ಎರಡು ದಿವಸ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಹದಿನಾಲ್ಕು ದಿವಸ ಆಯ್ತು ಮತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ರೌಂಡ್ ಹದಿನಾಲ್ಕು ದಿವಸ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ರೌಂಡ್ ಹದಿನಾಲ್ಕು ದಿವಸ ಆರು ವಾರ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡನ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ವೈರಸ್ ಇಂದ ಗೊಂದಲ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗಾಟ್ ಆಂಟಿಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನೋ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ನೋ ಫೀವರ್ ನೋ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಇವನ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಸೊ ಕಷಾಯ ಮಾಡೋದು ಇಷ್ಟೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಮೃತ ಬಲ್ಲಿ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೀನೋಸ್ ಪೊರ ಟೇಕ್ ಟೂ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೀಮ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಒನ್ ಕಡ್ಡಿ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಏಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಲೀವ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಬಾಯ್ಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟವ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ದ ಲೀಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಲ್ಯೂಕ್ ವಾಮ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ ಹಾಟ್ decoctions and many people nowadays corona drink hot hot water hot 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 water the body has to produce heat not you put in the hot water your throat will burn okay so do not do do and we are not supposed to take very hot things and very cold things it should be always one or two degrees above our body temperature not more than that so take lukewarm kashayam lukewarm decoction and that's enough because the way it manages the, fa- the bacteria or fungus or whatever uh, microbe is not killing it it is by having a dialogue by having an interaction trying to understand each other and trying to make both comfortable and that is the way nature works it doesn't want to kill each other it wants to manage it wants to have dialogue it want to have interact and that is happening in the molecular level and that is the beauty of life so let's not do something against life let's have the patience and let's give time to interact and nothing serious is going to happen in fact when there is a fever don't run to the doctor they will put paracetamol dolo and push it down and then the body has to suffer later so one or two days if that doesn't go that means it is different then you can ask your doctor and if you go to ayurveda doctor they will have a better solution for this kind of things and naturopathy doctors it's much easier so please follow natural things don't go to unnatural things this is very simple so kashaya is one of the most wonderful uh, way of doing things in fact i have figured this kashaya because even ayurveda doctors you cannot go sometimes they are giving right thing or wrong thing we do not know so this way you are doing things in your own house no one is to be bothered and everything will fall in place that's why if your food is right you don't have any sickness you don't need any medicine uh, so there's a follow up question ee kashayakke ond follow up question ide should we take it in empty stomach or full stomach and yeah. what is the quantity we have to take per day 150 ml to 200 ml each time you take a decoction or kashayam and you should always good to take on an empty when you are you are hungry when you are not eaten after eating food these decoctions are not going to supply the antigens and the nutrients and the chemicals that are required for this dialogue yeah. enough because the food takes away a lot of things in your tummy so always take decoctions before food half an hour before the food 
thank you very much sir two to three and times you can take decoction two two to three times a day in a day yes ದಿನ ಕೆರಡರಿಂದ ಮೂರು ಬಾರಿ ನಾವು ಈ ಕಷಾಯನ ಸೇವಿಸಬಹುದು ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಂ ಟಿ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಎಂ ಟಿ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತೊಳೋದು ತುಂಬಾ ಒಳ್ಳೇದು ಅಂತ ಈಗ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡೋದು ಎರಡು ದಿವಸಕ್ಕೊಮ್ಮೆ ಇದನ್ನ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸರ್ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ಅವ್ರು ಕಳ್ಸಿಕೊಡೋ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಪಿ ಡಿ ಎಫ್ ನ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಶನ್ಸ್ ನ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ತೆಲುಗು ತಮಿಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ತೆಲುಗಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ತಮಿಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಭಾಷೆಯ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಬೇರೆ ಭಾಷೆಗಳು ಮರಾಠಿ ಅವೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಕಳಿಸ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾರ ಅದ್ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಗೆಲ್ಲಾ ಕಳಿಸ್ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇದುವರೆಗೂ ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಮಾಹಿತಿ ನೀಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಗಿವನ್ ಎಸ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವಿತ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಜ್ವರ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಲೋಪತಿ ಹತ್ರ ಹೋಗಿದ್ರ ಹದ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ದಿವಸ ಆಯ್ತು ಇನ್ನೂ ಸರಿ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದವ್ರಿಗೆ ಮೂರು ಕಷಾಯ ಮಾಚಿಪತ್ರಿ ಪಾರಿಜಾತ ಅಮೃತ ಬನ್ನಿ ಈ ಮೂರು ಕಷಾಯ ಎರಡು ದಿವಸಕ್ಕೊಮ್ಮೆ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಆರು ದಿವಸ ಕುಡಿದ್ರೆ ಸಾಕು ನೀವು ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಸ್ಟೆರಾಯ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಓಕೆ ಕೊರೋನಾ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಚ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಆರ್ಕ ಅಂಬಲಿ ಸಾಮೆ ಅಂಬಲಿ ನವನೆ ಅಂಬ ಎರಡೆರಡು ದಿವಸ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫುಡ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಈಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಈಟ್ ವೆಲ್ ಈಟ್ ವೆಲ್ ಪೌಷ್ಟಿಕಾಂಶಗಳ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಕೀಪ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ರೈಸ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟ್ರಬಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಫಿಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟಮಿ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಗ್ರೇನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಈಟ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಈಟ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಟ್ always eat little less than what you can eat you are going to be in a better health so take ambali and then machpatri it's called artemisia in english artemisia this is a herb which is present all over the world all over the world you can find this and amrutabali tinospora all over the world you can find and parijata it's called nictanthus in english it is present all over the world so if you have these three decoctions you can come out of all the complications of this medications that you have taken because it is happening whether you like it or not it is happening you have to go rush all this panic is created lot of and everyone is infected now people are saying 30 lakhs 40 lakhs no 30 lakhs all people in the world are infected and if you just keep quiet in 6 weeks you will be fine actually don't dump any chemicals into your body the more you do that the more problems you are going to get into in future so keep quiet the body will take care of itself have faith in nature don't rush to hospitals especially corona time don't rush to hospital don't panic just be calm stay at home in fact lancet has released a uh, uh, paper people who have stayed at home 10 people only one person became serious and people who have rushed to hospital out of five two people have died whatever they do this is what is happening all over the world this is so the best option for you is just keep quiet at home eat little less eat well eat the right food nutrient food and have these three decoctions 99% of people who have done this are completely all right they the number runs into thousands thousands and thousands all over karnataka andhra telangana tamil nadu people keep calling me on a daily basis and keep thanking me and see i'm not saying what you, you you don't do this don't do this but you cannot get to the hospitals there are not enough hospitals now for people it is logistics there is no vaccine where is vaccine it will take another two and a half years for everyone to be vaccinated till then what do we do tell me even if the government is doing everything that they can and then they start vaccinating now we have only vaccinated 20 crores people there are still 120 crore people to be vaccinated 
so what do we do till then so the best option is to go to nature so please start adopting this food and this decoctions you will be fine and even if you want to take vaccine by then you don't need any vaccine okay <laughs> and let's give government some room to operate let's all be healthy by ourselves why do you depend on government and hospitals so this is the way i look at it we have to give information for people to be healthy and that's how we can reduce the government's job why are we making government work for our health they have so many problems for themselves okay so let's not worry the government let's take things into our hands and it is very simple you don't need to spend money you go to hospital you are going to spend money so the next question is uh, is there any remedy for a problem in pancreas oh yes the protocol is given you can just watch the protocol pancreatic is pancreatic disorders all things are pancreatic cyst everything is clearly mentioned and protocol is given step okay, by step sir. handbook is there thank you thank you I very much send thank you thank you very much for your valuable time and input sir now i call upon uh, shunanja sir to kindly uh, give the closing remarks and propose a vote of thanks hello okay. sir gutte idilla nimmanna okay pavanali dini sir yes 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 so nice to see you yeah you. very disciplined the scout people are very disciplined awesome. ಸೋದರ ಸೋದರಿಯರೇ ಇವತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಈ ಶುಭ ದಿನ ಒಂದು ಪವಿತ್ರವಾದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನ ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾರ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಭಾರ ಸ್ಕೌಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೈಡ್ಸ್ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಮೂಲಕ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಮೂಲಕ ಒಂದು ಉತ್ತಮವಾದಂತಹ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನ ನಿಯೋಜಿಸಿದ್ದು ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯ ವಿಷಯ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಮೂಲ ಕಾರಣ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಧ್ಯಾರವರು ನಮ್ಮ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಆಯುಕ್ತರವರು ಅವರು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಹೆಸರನ್ನ ಹೇಳಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂತೋಷವಾಗಿ ಇದನ್ನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ತಮ್ಮಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಉತ್ತಮವಾದಂತಹ ಸಲಹೆ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶನ ಪಡಿಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆನ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಮೊದಲು ನಾನು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಆಭಾರಿಯಾಗೋದ್ರ ಮೂಲಕ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಯಶಸ್ವಿಯಾಗಿ ನಡೆಸ್ಕೊಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಹಕಾರ ನೀಡಿದಂತಹ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಪಿ ಜಿ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಧ್ಯಾರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ನಾನು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಹೃದಯ ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿ ಮುಂದನೆಯನ್ನ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ತಾವು ಬಂದು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಬಹಳ ಅಮೂಲ್ಯವಾದ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ದೇವರನ್ನ ಕಾಣೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಕುಟುಂಬ ನಾನು ಹೇಳೋದೇ ಆದರೆ ನಾವು ದೇವ್ರು ಕಾಣೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಕಾಣದ ದೇವರನ್ನ ಕಾಣೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಜವಾದ ದೇವರು ಭೂಮಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅನ್ನೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ನಾನು ಖಾತರ್ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾನು ಭಾವಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ನನ್ನ ಮಗನಿಗೆ ಕರೋನಾ ಬಂದಂತ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಬಂದು ಅವ್ರ ಹತ್ರ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಐದು ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ಕಾದರ್ ಅವ್ರ ಸಂಪರ್ಕದಲ್ಲೇ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಇವತ್ತು ಕೂಡ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮೆಡಿಸನ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಬಳಸ್ತಾನೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವರ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶನ ನಡೀತೀವಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಥಳೀಯವಾಗಿ ಪರಿಸರದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ತಕ್ಕಂತ ಈ ಕಷಾಯ ಏನಿದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಈ ಸಿರಿಧಾನ್ಯಗಳೇ ಇದನ್ನೇ ಬಳಸಿ ನಾವು ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಾಯಿಲೆಗಳಿದ್ದ ನಾವು ದೂರ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಅನ್ನುವಂತ ಹೇಳೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂತೋಷ ಪಡ್ತದೇನೆ ಈಗ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಮೂಲ ಕಾರಣ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾದರ್ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ಮಗಳು ಕೂಡ ಸರಳ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸರಳ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅವರು ಇದೇ ಮಾರ್ಗದಲ್ಲಿ ತಂದೆಯನ್ನೇ ಆ ಅನುಸರಿಸಿ ಇವತ್ತು ನಡೆಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಸಾಥ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಅವರ ಧರ್ಮ ಪತ್ನಿ ಉಮಾ ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ತುಂಬಾ ಅಹ್ ಉಷಾ ಉಷಾ ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ತುಂಬಾ ಸಹಕಾರವನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತ ಇವರಿಗೆ ಆ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲೂ ಶ್ರೇಯಸ್ಸು ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಎಲ್ಲವನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಸಮಾಜಕ್ಕೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನ ಮಾಡೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅವಕಾಶ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಇವರಿಗೆ ಒಳ್ಳೇದ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿ ಶ್ರೇಯಸ್ಸನ್ನ ತೋರಿಸ್ಲಿ ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಸರಳ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಆ ಮಂತ್ರ ಎಳೆಯೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅವಕಾಶ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಡ್ಲಿ ಇವತ್ತೇನಿದೆ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಇಂದ ಸಾಯ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗ್ಲಿ ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕಾದ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಬಂದಂತ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ನ ಸ್ಥಳೀಯವಾಗಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ನನ್ನ ಬ
ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನ ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾರತ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೈಡ್ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪದಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪದಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಥಳೀಯವಾಗಿ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಸ್ಥಳೀಯ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪದಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಭಾಗವಹಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಪೋಷಕ ವರ್ಗದವರು ಭಾಗವಹಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಮೂಲೆ ಮೂಲೆಯಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ಸೋದರ ಸೋದರಿಯರು ಕೂಡ ಭಾಗವಹಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರೆಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಾನು ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಯಶಸ್ವಿ ಆಗೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಧುಸೂದನ್ ರವರು ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ನಾವು ಎಷ್ಟು ಹೊಗಳಿದ್ರು ಸಾಲದು ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಅವರ ಕುಟುಂಬಕ್ಕೆ ಆ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯದು ಮಾಡಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅವರಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ನಾನು ಪದಗಳನ್ನು ಅರ್ಸ್ತೇನೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷವಾಗಿ ಪರೋಕ್ಷವಾಗಿ ಸಹಕಾರ ನೀಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಮೈಗೂಡಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಕೇಳೋದು ಮಾತ್ರವಲ್ಲ ಕೇಳುದನ್ನ ಸ್ವತಃ ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಆರೋಗ್ಯವನ್ನ ಕಾಪಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಇದು ಸಾರ್ಥಕವಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾದರ್ ಸಾಹೇಬರ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶನ ನಾವು ಪಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾರತ ಸ್ಕೌಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೈಡ್ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಆರೋಗ್ಯವನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕಾಪಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಅದಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇವತ್ತು ನಾವು ನಿಜ ನಮ್ಮ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಬಂದ್ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆದಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರು ಮೇಡಮ್ ನವರು ಸುಮಂಗಳ ಅವರು ಅವ್ರ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಂತ ಈ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಂತ ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರು ನನ್ನ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಇವತ್ತಲ್ಲಿ ನೆಮ್ಮದಿಯಾದಂತ ಜೀವನ ಇದೇ ರೀತಿ ನನ್ನ ಸುತ್ತಮುತ್ತಲ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಜನರಿಗೂ ನಾನು ಹಂಚಿದೀನಿ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಆರೋಗ್ಯವಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಕಾಸು ಖರ್ಚಿಲ್ಲದೆ ನಮ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ ಬರೋದು ಒಂದೇ ಕಷ್ಟ ಆದ್ರೆ ಕಾಸು ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಲಕ್ಷಾಂತರ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಖರ್ಚು ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಬದಲಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಸುಲಭೋಪಾಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಆರೋಗ್ಯವನ್ನ ಕಾಪಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುವ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ಟ ಅಂತ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯರಿಗೆ ಸದಾ ಕಾಲ ನಾವು ಋಣಿಯಾಗಿರ್ತೇವೆ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಇನ್ನೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಶಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನ ಅವ್ರು ಕೊಡ್ಲಿ ಸಮಾಜ ಸೇವೆ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವಕಾಶ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನನ್ನ ಕೊನೆಯ ಈ ಮಾತನ್ನ ಮುಗಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಜೈ ಹಿಂದ್ ಜೈ 